Don't sports talk worldwide. What's the news for the world of boxing? So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now it's March Madness, right? Now I told y'all we know what the big one is, right? Coming on the weekend, we're gonna try not to talk about that one, right? We'll just say the names real quick. AJ Anthony Joshua versus Joseph Parker. Bam, it's so the only time. We're going to try to limit it to that. Right? But on that undercard, I told you you could probably get a video, a video and a half. Let's see, this might be the video and a half in one. I'm going to put something in here. David Price versus Alexander Pavek. Right? On the undercard of the big one. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm hoping that David Price wins this fight. Uh, you know, so we can just know if anything might be biased uh, from here on out. I'm hoping that David Price wins that fight. It's just one for the good guys. Right? That's all that would be. Nothing against David Price for him or against Alexander Povetkin. But my bottom line is someone who's cheating, obviously, being rewarded, being put in a situation where he's mandatory for WBO and WBA and not even have to fight long after the, his transgressions. It's just something that you don't want to see in boxing. So this is for the people, not only Pavetkin. This is about people around Pavetkin. Just like not only about Canelo. It's about the people around Canelo as well. You know, people that just keep getting away with stuff and don't have to, um, don't have to pay for what they do. You know, they don't. They're not held accountable for the things they do. And when that continues to happen, they, at some point you lose scruple. Because you're just going to continue to do it. The person only goes as far as you let them. And if we continue to let them, they're going to continue to uh, continue to do things. And never feel like, you know, I was wrong. And learn from it. And, oh, yeah, I got to worry about it. That's not fair. Or I can't just pay somebody and be back in position. So that just means somebody letting them. And the ones that letting them are probably getting paid for letting them. So at this point, I do not want to see... David Price lose again to someone who was doped. Because let's just talk David Price for a minute. David Price, right, is someone who people are laughing at now in Britain. You know, dude told me the other day, don't be comparing him to Anthony Joshua. You know, don't be comparing him to Anthony Joshua. It's nothing the same, you know. It's not exactly the same, but we are talking about about a 6'8, 6'9 chiseled dude that was 14 and 0. Right? Let me tell you something. If there's nothing, to be the British champion, does that mean nothing? And all the other British champions don't mean nothing, then why y'all got it? British champion, Commonwealth champion, those means nothing. That's what he was. Olympic bronze medalist. Everybody ain't getting no medal. Ask America. Because our bronze medalist, Deontay Wilder, nobody cares about him. But over in Britain, to get a bronze is something, ain't it? You know, bronze medalist. There's a whole lot of fighters over there. He had that too. Let me tell you something else he was. 2012 ESPN's Prospect of the Year. Prospect of the Year at ESPN. ESPN ain't in England, is it? Right? That means he's recognized as about, about to do something. And I told you guys before, before the Tony Thompson fight, David Price was only going to be talking to Tyson Fury at that time and Vladimir Klitschko for his next fight. Remember that. He was that hot at the time that Tony Thompson stopped him. In that first fight, Tony Thompson was not doped. Right? So that just can happen to anybody. But after that, David Price lost to dope people. Right? Tony Thompson was doped in the second fight. And he lost to Tepper. And Tepper was the dope man. Told you it was everything. And Tepper was just it was too, way too much dope in that Tepper. It was almost impossible not to catch him. Walk in the house. You know, people got white coats on, man. You know. So you can lose to those guys, but here's the problem, right? Here's the problem. Pavetkin's wins when he was obviously on dope, like Duhapis. Right after being caught doping for the Severn fight, Duhapis comes over, he gets knocked out within 24 hours after that fight. Comes over, gets knocked out, and that fight counts on Pavetkin's ledger. So all Pavetkin's dope fights count. All the losses that David Price has to dope fighters are still on his ledger. They should be totally wiped out, but they're not. So why wouldn't I go for David Price if I'm considering myself a good guy and pull for the good guy? 
still hating on Satan. Let me remind you. So uh, those are the kind of things that make me say, you know something, guys? Uh, yeah, let's go David Price. Let's see David Price do something. You know, it's going to be hard. Listen, if I be real about the fight and I'll break it down, you know, listen, Pavekin, uh, he was on the Meldonium the whole time, so his stamina was up. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they probably got something else that's not found or whatever they're doing. But Pavekin, uh, when he's on the sauce, handles his business. He's only been beat once, guys. A, a close fight or two. I think Tackin would have had him if he wasn't doped, if you ask me. But at the end of the day, Pavekin gets the job done. He's not the biggest heavyweight, but he's very skilled. And he's going to come in here and get that left hook in on the inside on David Price and probably take David Price out. But what I'm hoping is that that don't happen. And some kind of way David Price keeps him off of him and then probably lands something. Uh, let's see. But I'm going to say it again. I hope David Price beats Alexander Pavekin. I don't care how. Just beat him. Because if you're beating him, you're saying something you know, to, to a whole lot of very significant, a whole lot of people, but maybe finally will get the memo that you just can't do everything in boxing. Don't sports talk. Worldwide, I'm about to hear y'all.